The Chief Executive Officer of the Mental Health Authority, Dr. Akwesi Ose, is asking politicians and political parties to include a comprehensive mental health policy in their manifestos as a way to declare their preparedness to improve the sector. He made the observation on the sidelines of the launch of a report of the role of traditional mental health centers in promoting health care in Ghana. By the Human Rights Advocacy Center is titled Exploring the Role of Traditional Mental Health Centers and Their Impact on Promoting Quality Mental Health Care and Human Rights in Ghana. One of the recommendations of the report is the need to build the capacity of traditional health providers to give the right standard of care and support for persons with mental disorders. This, the Chief Executive Officer of the Mental Health Authority, says can be done if the sector is adequately funded. We need a special funding mechanism. And that's where the levy comes in, so the mental health levy. As you do go about your daily activities, you are buying things, you will be contributing to the mental health levy, the fund. Once you have that fund, then all the services we want will be fine, and in one year or two, you will not be seeing patients on the streets in Accra, in the cities, on, on, uh, in the towns and villages. They would all have been taken, not for hiding, but for treatment and send them back to their communities. He taxed political parties to state clearly in their manifestos what they intend to do to improve mental health in the country. We want them to mention the kind of attention they'll give to mental health, what they're going to do to ensure that they have mental health levy established, or if they don't want to do that, then the alternative arrangement to give funding. But in totality, generally, what they want to do about mental health. So we want to see a statement on that, not just subsumed under health, that will improve health. That is too, a little weak. So you want to see something substantial. The report is intended to improve the understanding of human rights abuses and conditions of persons living with mental disorders in traditional mental health centers. So what we set out to do as an institution um, is to be able to generate that data to understand the practices in the informal health uh, space in the first place. Once we went into it, we realized that their intention is not to abuse, you know, they want to help. So how then do you turn the situation around so that they can actually be helpful to the persons who seek um, their services? The research project was in collaboration with Mind Freedom Ghana and Star Ghana Foundation.